Hi everybody, today I'm going to tell you a story about Maddie and Boyd. One day there was a girl named Maddie. She was very lovely. One day she went out for a walk. Maddie wanted to play with someone and she says to the other children, Hey guys, anyone want to play frisbee? The other kids nodded and Maddie began to walk away. Then Maddie heard a squish sound and Maddie turned around and said, It's a dog. Maddie said, Wow, boy, that's a long tongue. Maddie poured some water in, in her frisbee game. And then Maddie said to Boyd, Huh, where's your collar? Ha, 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 Maddie heard. And then two kids had spilled the water in the frisbee ball. What are you going, said Maddie. Rough, rough, barked the dog. Bunch of dodo, said Maddie. Sorry about that, boy, said Maddie said to the dog. Rough, rough. Boy, Maddie decides, hmm, that's not much of a name. How about I call you Boy? Boing! The dog jumps and starts to lick Maddie. Okay, okay, Maddie says. Boy is then. I'm Maddie. I'll wait with you till your owner gets back, said Maddie. And they begin to play frisbee game until Boyd growls like grrr. Yeah, I'm hungry too, said Maddie. Let's get some food. We'll come back later, he says. This is where I live. I only been here for a few weeks, but it's pretty nice. My mom will be back from home soon. I think you'll really like her. Maddie says to, to Boyd, till one, one people come to look at the Maddie with the dog. Let's go see what's in the fridge, said Maddie. Here's your dinner, she, she gets with some baby carrots. And Boyd ate it. Crunch, 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 splat. Want some Kung Pao chicken too? said Maddie. Ruff, ruff, barks the Boyd. So he eats Kung Pao chicken too. Wow, boy, you need a bath. Really bad. Oh, thoughts the dog. I'll be right back, said Maddie. Well, and Maddie turned on the water, the bath water, till she hears some creak, crunch, splash, splitter, gling, gobble, gobble, and she rushed to the kitchen till she, till she saw, oh, mom is gonna freak! Mom is so, so gonna freak, Maddie said to the dog. Maddie, Maddie did not know what to do, but she closed the water and put some soap in the bathtub and carried George and carried the dog and said, Into the tub you go, said Maddie. Hey, you want to give me a bath now? Huh? You've been through some stuff, haven't you? Creep. Madeline K. Powell. Uh, hi, Mom. What on earth happened to the kitchen? It's been kind of a weird day. What is the dog doing in our bathroom? This is Boyd. I met him at the park. Couldn't find his owner, so I brought him at home, said Maddie. He's got to go right now. We could get really big trouble for this, said her, said Matt, 
said Madeline K. Powell, Maddie's mom. But he, but he needs our help. Knock, 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 knock. Knock, 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 knock. Step, step, step. Knock, 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 knock. When Maddie's mom opened the door, she saw Mr. Lutz and she said, Oh, hi, Mr. Lutz. I only need two a day for the rent. That's not what I hear about, said, said Mr. Lutz. I got a complaint that your daughter Bob brought a dog into the building. Know anything about that, said Maddie's mom. There's no dog in here. I know the rules, Mr. Lutz. I'm not so sure you do. If I catch you or your daughter with a dog, you get no second chance. You're out. I understand, Mr. Lutz. No dogs. Good, said Maddie's mom. I'll look forward to getting your rent by Monday. Thanks for covering for me, said Ma Maddie. Maddie, I'm your mom. I know moving away from the 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 farm have, hasn't been easy. This apartment isn't much, but it's the best we can do right now. I know, Mom. I'm sorry. Really sorry. I know, Maddie Moo, said Ma Maddie's mom. I'll sneak Boyd back out and try harder to find his owner. It's late. He can stay here for the night. We can find a safe place for him in the morning. I promise. The next day, in the next page, uh, Miss Fred saw Mrs. Powell, Ma Maddie's mom, and Maddie too with, with Boyd, the dog. Hi, you must be Miss Powell, said Fred. I'm Fred Wilkins, director of Animal Rescue Friends. And you must be Maddie. Your mom told me on the phone that you're the one that saved this dog. His name is Boyd, said Maddie. He loves baby carrots and Kung Pao chicken. But to know, we'll, we'll get him sweared away in no time. Said, said Fred. Ugh, that's the third straight today. Why can everyone be responsible about their pets? He may just be lost, Bell. Fred says to the to the girl with the yellow head with the yellow hair. So. What happens to Boyd now, said Maddie. We post his picture on social media. If no one, if no one claims him, we will turn him, we will turn him into off for adoption. And if no one needs him? Don't worry, a dog as sweet as Boyd doesn't need for short. But Deanie, not again? Uh, I just advertised these. Till a rabbit made a bud named Madini hopped out. I don't know, Mom, said Maddie. Maybe this isn't the best place for Boyd. They sure do like they could, could use some help, don't they, said, said Maddie's mom. And, and Maddie got a bucket a gray bucket and 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 said and when she got the rabbit she said gotcha here you go mr wilkins nice catch maddie anytime you need more volunteers the next day the next saturday here we're almost close said bell Next door is the small's rescue animals. We kept the te temperature 878 so it's nice and comfortable. Are we 
getting close to the dog run? said Maddie, disappointed to herself. Are you here to volunteer or just visit Boyd? said said Mad said Belle. Volunteer, I just miss him, Maddie said. Come on, I'll show you where the dogs are, said said Belle. Then Belle took Maddie to the dog run. Boyd, I have a surprise for you. It's no Kung Pao chicken, but I know you'll still like it. You know, there's more handing out carrots. Let's see what happens if you have to pick up their poop. I, I used to live in a farm. Poop doesn't scare me. Okay, I gotta go. You be good, Boyd. Maddie says to the, to the dog. Here's here, here is where we keep the larger animals, said Belle. When you're inside, no touching the animals. No fast movements. Don't do anything to frighten them. I won't, said Maddie. A lot of them can get bad situations and scare easily. I got it, said Maddie. Shh, don't raise, your, don't raise your voice. You're the one shouting, said Maddie. My job is to brush the horses. In the next page, Belle said, Stop, you're making Chesterdale jumpy. It's okay, girl. Belle said to the brown horse with yellow hair like Belle. Can I show you how I brush horses? Said Maddie. No way! Brushing chestnut is my job. Just because you used to live in a farm doesn't mean you know everything. Fine, you don't have to be mean about it! Said Maddie. Ah! Watch! And Maddie and Belle. Then Chestnut the brown horse ran out of the yard. You and and both the two siblings went out too. You didn't close this doll, said said Belle. You didn't close the barn, said Maddie. This is awful. If Chestnut ru runs into a road, a car could hit her. Then please let me help you, said Maddie. Chasna, come back, said Belle. Chasna! Then, then the dog named Boyd heard it, and then he jumped like boing. She's too fast, said Belle. We're never going to catch her. Boyd, said Maddie. Ruff, ruff, nay, ruff, ruff. She's really spooked, said Maddie. We have to calm her down. Huh? Something fell out of your bag, said Belle. I know. Try these, said Maddie, holding out the car baby carrots. It's okay, Chestnut. It's just me, said Belle. Chestnut sniffed and sniffed and bit. There you go, girl, said Belle. Looks like you're not the most volunteer ever. And when I, and, and the next pace, when it, when it was time to go home, Maddie's mom said, How did you go, Maddie? How did you do, Maddie? Good. I even made a new friend. I have a surprise for you, said, Ma, said Maddie's mom. We can't have a dog, but we can have a bunny. Oh no! Houdini, where'd you go? Don't worry, Mom. I've got him. We're gonna need a lot more carrots, said Maddie. The end.